Hi, Ryan. Hi, Ben. It's Dr. Karens with some verbal feedback to go along with the rubric. I'll start with the end first, uh, your evaluations of the process and uh, the learning that you uh, uh, got as a result of working together as a team on this uh, assignment. And you could see that uh, you worked well together and you had some uh, bumps along the way, as most uh, group efforts would have and you were able to uh, successfully overcome them and manage through them. And you also saw, if you were to do it again, how you could improve the process. So that's a great, uh, a great thing. So let me jump into uh, the context of your paper. I did enjoy learning about Criffles, and uh, it's amazing to have a family-owned uh, uh, business that has 21,000 employees. It's a pretty big family, so uh, especially in a, a highly competitive uh, industry of pharmaceuticals. So it was uh, great to... Uh, to hear that. You did a, a good job uh, with the survey methodology and identifying the uh, characteristics that you were uh, evaluating in the survey and you gave a little bit of uh, a definition of what those individual areas were. Uh, you had a, a great table that uh, was separated out by uh, uh, management and non-management and was something that uh, for someone like myself to look at uh, created questions and uh, so that you want that uh, visual uh, jump out that I was looking for those that w received high scores and those received low scores and does it tell me anything and perhaps one of the things to consider uh, with this was the story behind the story so if you have a for example uh, an area that does well uh, but is there a question uh, in there that didn't do quite so well uh, that would help you identify some other areas for potential improvement. Perhaps something like that would be something to consider uh, going forward. You did a great job with your SWOT analysis and uh, also uh, coming up with your organization recommendations. Uh, what uh, would make that even stronger would be to tie that in even more explicitly from the results that you got uh, from the survey. Uh, so sometimes when you get into the SWOT, for example, there was uh, information that uh, didn't come from the questionnaire but came from other analysis so you want to uh, separate out and show how that uh, was different and why it was different and then perhaps consider using the questionnaire looking at that a little bit more uh, and reflecting on what is it telling you so there's uh, a lot there that uh, perhaps you could glean so all in all I enjoyed your paper you did a great job writing it together it was written as though it was one person so the congratulations on that See the rubric for continued improvement.